Hello folks and welcome back to your daily tea. I think I like the way that sounds. I think I might be calling this vlog or my little vlog or thing. This channel, well, it's still gonna be under my name. But I think I'm gonna call it the daily tea. Um, to see, tell you what's going on around my place and maybe to go show you what's going on in uh, Pismo Beach. If not, I never got to San Luis Obispo so I might be taking a run out there in the future videos. But anyways, Today is going to be a very busy day for me. As of right now, I have seven rooms to clean, um, and I only have one room available this weekend. So yeah, my weekend is going to be filled of cleaning and getting my rooms back together. Plus, I think I might have to head to Walmart to go pick up two more Roku's for my rooms because there's those are the only two rooms that don't have Roku. So come on, come along with me on this adventure. So right now it's currently 8.20 in the morning. I worked on my computer. Now I'm going to be editing a video, but first I need to get some coffee. I still use my favorite cup to the season because it's like pieces. Um, but now it's time to get my cold brew. Oh my God. Look at that. That has been brewing for about 24 hours. No, about 12 hours. And let me tell you, it comes out so good. It's one of my favorite things to make. Is cold brew especially when I know how strong I can make my coffee and I kind of like sometimes I like a French roast which is really really strong but lately I've been liking just the normal roast from Folgers so I cannot wait then for my creamer I usually do Italian sweet cream which tastes so good if not hazelnut but I do the coffee mate so it's non-dairy because your boy can't handle a uh, milk so excited Take out the strainer. And I believe you can actually use coffee grounds. You can use, sorry, we saw one of my guests looking into another room. But you can use your, I believe you can use your coffee grounds for plants, but I honestly just toss them. But that's sick. There are some juices out. Yeah, I said juices. And as you guys get to know, I love. I don't call it coffee, I call it magic bean water because it's literally, it's stuff, it's bean juice, that sounds gross, but it's magic bean water, come on, it's coffee beans and it's magic because it brings people back from the dead. favorite right now is Italian sweet cream. I don't know if you probably see it, but watch when I put the creamer in. Let's see. Oh, I love when it does like that nice blend. Mm -mm -mm. Just a little more. There we go. Not too sweet, but not too strong. And top it off with my straw. Give it a good mix. I'm telling you, one of my crews is all be drinking. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, I am going on a cruise in April with my family. And we actually just decided, because usually we like to do something matching. Last time we did all matching shirts, which the family cruise 2023. This time, it's just me, my folk, my folks, and my uncle. We're all going to do matching Crocs. Yes, some people like Crocs, some people don't. I like them because it's like a multi-purpose shoe. I mean, you can go from land to see to boat with like really quick. Oh, plus they got two modes, they got regular mode, plus they got sport mode. And I found out I can get headlights for my Crocs, so don't be judging me, but yes, coffee time. As of right now, yes, I know my table's a mess, but I got priorities straight. I got my iced coffee. You already know I love my cold brews. Um, my, so I'm upgrading my storage for all my bags from a little small one to a big one then i'm actually organizing all my zippers because they're just thrown in here i'm actually going to start putting them on ziploc bags so there's that then for breakfast i just made that mess right there i'm having some potatoes and eggs because my babies want some eggs i want potatoes so it's like the best of both worlds so 
that's what I'm doing right now. Um, our little baby. Hi, babies. There's little Riley. Hi, Riley. There's little Wonky. Uh, did you get a hoy? Did you get a hoy? Oh my gosh, you got a hoy. Look at the babies. And so there we had a snack this morning. They had a chicken chicken treat. And I bought these little toys from 99 cent store. Our Dollar Tree, they already tore them up. They, are, they were cat toys, but they like the little small toys because they can carry them around their mouth. But I'm thinking of buying some squeakers and putting the squeakers inside those toys. Maddie is either chewing a bully stick she's chewing a bully stick oh and there's my blanket hoodie which i love to sleep in um but now it's playtime and they had i didn't make more food yesterday but it's playtime and now they are playing hot oh, babies i do riley 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 you guys are probably wondering like why you show my pups so much it's because i love my babies they are they're, they're my babies they're, they're my kids then I even told my mom, I was like, I'm not having no kids. I'll be honest right now, I ain't having no kids. So your grandbabies are going to be the pups. So now when she comes to come visit, she's like, hello, little grandbabies. And they actually all cuddle with her. They all cuddle with her. It's, it's pretty cute, but yeah, those are my kids. And I love them, Mimi. They are spoiled. I make their snacks. I make their food from them. I use Farmer Dog, and I mix in either ground. They like ground turkey right now. I buy a bully star, a rawhide alternative, which are bully sticks, which is a lot better. I mean, they're spoiled. They go for walks. They also have a stroller. So, believe me, my babies are spoiled. And believe me, they take up half my bed. And I would more than half my bed. For them being so small, you would think, oh, they don't think. No, they take up half of my bed, if not more. But yeah, that's why I always show up because I'm so happy and I get to see little Riley grow. So, this weekend I had 17 rooms booked. I actually get excited when I put on my no vacancy sign because, I mean, that's that's it's cool it's cool but it's also like that i'm probably i'm doing something good because i'm bringing back a lot more offerings that were here that weren't here so i think i may let you guys know but like in my lobby slash office i brought back coffee because before i moved here they took out all the coffee pots in room so i actually have the guests come get coffee in the lobby i offer kind of like a continental breakfast where she's either like a granola or maybe like a danish I kind of stick with the granola because it's I can get more for less, and it's healthier than a Danish, and I can serve a lot more people with granola bars. So, I stick to that. Um, but yeah, yesterday I cleaned six rooms, six rooms. I cleaned five double beds. So I technically made ten beds yesterday, and one king, and so I made eleven beds yesterday. That that was a lot. I want to say I was tired. I was too busy. Too busy. I was too tired to even make dinner, make a simple salad. So I literally went across the street to a little Mexican cantina. I got myself a nice, good size chili verde burrito. And let me say, it was good. Now, I was planning on saving it for dinner tonight, like half and half. But I ended up uh, knocking out the whole thing. And that put me into a food coma. And after that, it just, I was done. Took a hot shower and I was out cold. St uh, st I was on the couch waiting for a ate one check-in and after that while I was on the couch I had my blanket hoodie if you don't know it's like a very big hoodie but it's like a blanket so comfortable but yeah I literally knocked out my babies yesterday was a good day even though I had to work or make a lot of beds it was still a good day because I all my rooms and I also got to scrub all my showers which that's I've been in the process of doing is scrubbing them with uh, Ajax and like a good uh, scrubber because some of the showers were not as pr nice as I liked them, so I tried to get them as the way I would like it. When I try to make my rooms the way I like them when I walk in, nice, clean, present. I like my things nice and presentable, and I like all my rooms to look uniform. So everything has to look the same inside them. So, yeah. You know, I am currently cleaning a room right now, which I will have this done probably within 20, 30 minutes. Um, or if that, but anyways, I just want to say that when I enjoy, I actually enjoy cleaning. I know it sounds weird. I enjoy cleaning when I'm reading a book. I mean, not sponsored for anything, but I like to listen to Audible. I have been listening to Audible like the last two weeks. I have finished, well, finished four Harry Potter books. I'm currently on the fifth one. I enjoy it because it actually 
it keeps my mind focused, but yet it gives me something to think about. And like, cause I seen the movies, well, not all the movies. I got to year five and I know what happens in year six and year seven. I just, I can't watch it right now. But literally I actually enjoy watching or watching, uh, listening to the books where I clean. That's why if you see sometimes in my videos, I'll have like an AirPod on. Most of the time I'm just reading I say it's reading because it's literally I'm still reading but I don't have a physical book because I mean I can't hold a physical book because I mean for me it just I get too antsy with it I just want to start flipping around and I, I I can't stay focused but as of this I can my audiobooks I like to listen to them when I drive which I finished two Star Wars books actually four Star Wars books and I am going on my fifth Harry Potter book so I'm becoming a little bookworm when it comes to the things I like I mean I see movies and all that but like literally like I said the audiobooks are it's so much more better. The books are so much more better. So, ah, that'll show that, but stripping down these two full beds, wipe everything down, quick vacuum. Hey, look it. There's my best side, the back side. Ha ha ha, just kidding. But no, it's actually a nice, beautiful day in Oceano. Well, you probably see that um, I had three different outfit changes because this is actually a period of three or, three or four days. Um, this week can kick my butt. All I say is this week can really kick my butt. Um, I had a lot, I knocked out 11 rooms thinking that, okay, I should be caught up on Monday, but then when Monday came around, I got booked up again. So I'm starting to hit my peak time, which I'm excited for because I'm actually having a lot more guests, but at the same time, it's just me. But good news is I actually have a helper coming in today. Hopefully I have to train her, but hopefully they will be taking care of the outside as I take care of the inside. So sh so they will be housekeeping and I'll be doing laundry and maintaining the office because sometimes it becomes a lot when I'm cleaning rooms, doing laundry, running the office. It's a lot to just keep one person here. So hopefully I kind of, the, my work gets cut in half now because they'll be, like I said, they'll be taking care of the outside. I'll be maintaining the laundry and my office plus I have a furniture update too that I'd like to show you guys. Um, so before I had my desk right here. I like my desk. I did use it a lot back at home, but now that I have my kitchen table, I didn't use my desk that much. I It was mostly used for storage, you kind of say. I would just put stuff on top, but I ordered this bookshelf, bookshelf off Amazon. I have some of my favorite pieces of art, which is my spray paint art. That's literally when I go to Vegas, I go for the spray paint art. It sounds funny, but I think I, I got three three pieces of spray paint art from Fremont Street, which I love. And this is one of my favorite ones. Then on one shelf, I put like my Scentsies, I have alcohol wipes, my camera gear. Then I have my computer, my iPad, my printer. Then I have kind of like random bits right there, but... I thought I would show you guys this since I, and plus two, it adds a little more room. So instead of having my desk pretty much come out to about right, about right here, it takes up a lot less space. Plus I'm able to put my laundry bin here. The thing I like about too is that when my folks come over or my brother and his girlfriend ever come over, I'm able to have one mattress right there and one mattress right here. So I can actually fit probably about four people in here. If I really want to push it, I could probably fit three queen mattresses inside of my front room. But yeah, that'll just show you that. Ooh, my hair this morning. But on top of having a busy weekend, setting this up and moving on, I ended up pulling a muscle on, this, on my side and on my back. So the last day, day and a half, it's been a struggle bus for me. I have, I can't get over my hair. No, let's put that hat back on. It's been a struggle bus, literally. I have been living off ibuprofen because it, it spasms and it, it hurt well it's a pulled muscle but literally i couldn't even clean my i couldn't even clean my rooms the way i wanted to I only got two rooms and i had a lot more room so thankfully i have a little bit of help today so they'll be able to um help me out but literally when i get my pulled muscles i feel i, I can't I, you, I literally cannot do nothing from my side hurting to my back it, to me, it, oh, well, when I get them, it's bad because it spasms and it, it's very hard for me to breathe, but it's finally going away and I'm thankful. But I think that's it for this 
vlog. Um, I know it's probably like three different days put it into one, but yeah, this weekend was very busy. I had a lot of rooms clean, got new furniture, and I pulled a muscle. So yeah, a lot has happened, but like I always say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Stay safe out there, friends. Mm -hmm.